Welcome aboard the Webb Telescope. Blast off in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As we warp past pillars and galaxies, keep your eyes peeled for exoplanets and exploding stars. Webb's mirrors are unfolding to reveal the most vibrant views of the cosmos. Our destination, the breathtaking stellar nursery within Orion's sword. Strap in tight as we plunge inside the nebula, where our instruments will analyze light from the early universe and peek into clouds forming new worlds. Stellar discoveries await. Our adventure begins. Image number one, a closer look at the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is one of the most well-known objects in the night sky. Located around 1,350 light years from Earth, just below the three bright stars that make up Orion's belt, it has long fascinated astronomers and stargazers alike. At its center lies the Trapezium Cluster, a group of young, massive stars that release intense ultraviolet light. This radiation illuminates the surrounding clouds of gas and dust, creating the nebula's familiar glowing appearance. Embedded within these clouds are many interesting astronomical objects and phenomena that are still being studied today. Young stars, also known as protostars, are still forming out of the dense molecular clouds behind the trapezium cluster. As the protostars grow, they push out energetic jets and swirling disks of dust and gas known as protoplanetary disks. These disks are where planets may eventually form. Researchers also find brown dwarfs in the nebula, strange cosmic objects too small to become stars but too large to be planets. Even free-floating planets not orbiting any star have been detected. Another area of focus are photodissociation regions. These are where the harsh ultraviolet light hitting the molecular clouds causes chemical reactions that change the makeup of the gases. Studying these transition zones helps us understand how massive stars influence the environment around them. Astronomers use the nebula as a natural laboratory to watch various stages of star formation and early planetary system development. The new images were taken using the Near Infrared Camera, or NERCAM, aboard the James Webb Space Telescope. NERCAM can observe infrared light, allowing it to see through clouds of gas and dust that block visible light. It created two enormous mosaics, one stitching together many individual observations. One mosaic used the camera's shorter wavelength infrared channel for the highest possible resolution. This revealed intricate details in the protoplanetary disks and outflow jets swirling around young stars. The longer wavelength mosaic showed a complex web of various types of dust grains and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are carbon-containing molecules spread throughout the nebula. By exploring the Orion Nebula with unprecedented clarity and scope, astronomers hope to unravel more secrets of how stars, planets, and planetary systems are born in these stellar nurseries. What additional phenomena or cosmic objects might future observations reveal in this iconic region of star formation? Only further study with powerful new tools like the James Webb Space Telescope will tell. Image number two, exploring a galaxy near and far. The new images from the James Webb Space Telescope provide an unprecedented look at an intriguing galaxy called NGC 6822, located around 1.6 million light years from our own Milky Way. Despite appearing as just a faint smudge in small telescopes due to its great distance, Webb's observations strip away obscuring gases and stardust to reveal a galaxy rich in stellar treasures. Located within NGC 6822's irregular shape is a bright circular blob. Upon closer inspection, astronomers determined this is actually a globular cluster, a spherical grouping of thousands of ancient stars tightly orbiting the galaxy's center. Globular clusters are found surrounding larger galaxies like our own, containing some of the first stars ever formed in the young universe. Its clear view here suggests Webb will uncover more of these stellar relics hiding in other distant galaxies. While invisible to our eyes, Webb sees in infrared light wavelengths just beyond the red end of the visible color spectrum. To translate these into colors we can understand, the telescope assigns shades of blue to the hottest, youngest stars emitting short infrared rays, 
and warmer tones like orange and red to cooler, aging stars giving off longer infrared waves. This process maps wavelengths to hues, letting us perceive the rich stellar populations within NGC 6822 in a format our visual cortex can interpret. With its sharper view into distant galaxies like this one, will Webb uncover more about how irregular galaxies like NGC 6822 formed throughout cosmic history? Are there additional obscured globular clusters waiting to be found? By peering further back in time, new observations from this powerful observatory may help reveal when the first stars and galaxies lit up the young universe billions of years ago. Image number three, a closer look into the magnificent swirling arms of galaxy. M51, located approximately 31 million light years from Earth, the grand spiral galaxy known as M51, or NGC 5194, is showcased here in a brand new light, thanks to observations from the James Webb Space Telescope's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. MIRI's infrared imaging capabilities allow us to peer deeper into the clouds of dust and gas that make up M51 spectacular arms, revealing intricate filament-like structures woven throughout. These wispy tendrils create an almost web-like pattern across the galaxy's disk. The prominent spiral arms seen emanating from M51's center are thought to have been influenced by the gravitational pull of M51's much smaller galactic neighbor, the dwarf galaxy NGC 5195. As this smaller galaxy passed close by in the past, its gravitational forces may have helped pull and squeeze the gas and dust within M51's outer edges, accentuating the formation of its striking spiral form. Just how close did these two galaxies come during their interaction? Astronomers estimate NGC 5195 came within approximately 50,000 light years of M51 based on computer simulations of the encounter. While MIRI accentuates the dusty filigree within M51, Webb's near-infrared camera, NIARCAM, is better suited to pick out the glow of hot young star clusters that have recently formed. NIARCAM focuses on the ionized gas surrounding these dense baby star communities, illuminating pockets of bright plasma scattered among the wispy dust lanes. By observing M51 across infrared wavelengths both near and mid, we gain a more complete picture of the complex interplay between newborn stars and the dense clouds of particulate matter that ultimately birthed them. At a distance of over 31 million light years, we see M51 as it appeared long ago. Its gorgeous spiral structure provides astronomers a glimpse into the processes that shaped galaxy formation in the distant past. Webb promises to reveal many more galactic marvels like M51 that were previously invisible to our view. Continued observations with this powerful new observatory will surely yield new insights into the dance of matter, stars, and gravity across the cosmos. Image number four, peering deep inside the star-forming galaxy. NGC 5068. Let us take a deeper look inside the spectacular barred spiral galaxy, NGC 5068, located around 170 million light years from our Milky Way in the constellation Virgo. Through the powerful infrared cameras of the James Webb Space Telescope, we can observe this galaxy in unprecedented clarity and unveil many intriguing phenomena occurring within. At first glance across Webb's image, intricate tendrils of dark cosmic dust laced with clusters of bright blue stars wrap elegantly across the core of NGC 5068. Upon closer inspection, a prominent bar-like structure extending horizontally through the galactic center comes into focus. Made of dense molecular gas and dust, this bar serves as an incubator, fueling the birth of new stars. Emerging from the bar are several nebulae glowing in infrared light, 
Immense clouds of ionized hydrogen gas heated to tens of thousands of degrees by intense radiation from young stars developing within. The nebulae display a variety of morphologies, with some appearing fuzzy and amorphous while others have distinctly defined boundaries. Their diverse appearances provide clues to differences in gas density, temperature, pressure, and composition across each star-forming region. Astronomers also spot dark clouds of dense molecular gas and dust scattered throughout, some containing dense cores where yet more stars may be gestating. Over time, powerful stellar winds and radiation will shape and disperse these veritable stellar nurseries. ALMA submillimeter observations have previously revealed over 12,000 cold, dense molecular clouds and clumps within NGC 5068, alongside Hubble Space Telescope imaging, cataloging over 10,000 star clusters. Combining these datasets with Webb's new high-resolution infrared mosaics allows astronomers an unprecedented multi-wavelength view into the intricate interplay between gas, dust, stars, and stellar evolution across this galaxy. They can study the physical processes, sculpting each stellar nursery on scales from single clusters to the galactic-wide level. Transient phenomena like asteroids also make cameo appearances. While centered on NGC 5068, three tiny trails of light corresponding to asteroids passing through Webb's field of view over multiple exposures are detectable, subtle signs of our own solar system's vicinity. Their motion against the more stable extragalactic backdrop leaves color trails that would have evaded previous telescopes. With its clear panoramic views penetrating the obscuring dust lanes, the James Webb Space Telescope is unlocking the mystifying processes powering star formation behind the stellar bars across our universe's many grand spirals. Future observations of NGC 5068 and other galaxies promise to further illuminate these enduring cosmic mysteries. Image number 5. Taking a closer look at star cluster NGC 346, let us examine star cluster NGC 346, located around 160,000 light-years away in our neighboring galaxy, the Small Magellanic Cloud. To view this impressive stellar nursery, astronomers have combined observations from some of Earth and Space's most advanced observatories, including the James Webb Space Telescope, Chandra X-ray Observatory, Hubble Space Telescope, and others. By uniting data across the electromagnetic spectrum, from high-energy X-rays to infrared and visible light, researchers have constructed spectacular composite images, revealing intricate phenomena within NGC 346 that individual instruments cannot detect alone. For example, Chandra's X-ray vision maps regions of scorching millions of degrees, where rapid star formation is unleashing powerful stellar winds. Webb's infrared eyes peer through obscuring cosmic dust clouds to spotlight infant stars still forming within dense cores. What details are coming into focus about star birth within NGC 346's boundaries? Chandra data pinpoints over a hundred far-off stars unleashing fiery stellar coronas, while Webb reveals over two dozen embryonic stars still cocooned inside dusty cocoons. By cross-comparing observations separated by years, Astronomers are also tracking stellar evolutionary cycles and energetic outflows sculpting the surrounding nursery across centuries. Some questions remain. How do the earliest phases of star formation proceed on small scales? Are there patterns to how newborn stars cluster together or disperse into the galaxy? With continuing coordinated observations using different wavelengths, researchers hope to assemble time series panoramas elucidating the complex processes powering stellar evolution from birth to maturity within NGC 346 and beyond. Multi-messenger astronomy is providing a more complete picture than ever before of how stars, the building blocks of all galactic structures, first emerge across our vast universe. Deeper analysis of the combined data has uncovered intriguing dynamics within NGC 346, Chandra's X-rays reveal over 100 massive young stars encased in glowing hot plasma, their powerful stellar winds carving winding cavities within the dense star-forming cloud. 
Meanwhile, Webb's infrared gaze penetrates the dust, spotting over two dozen stellar objects still only beginning to come to life at the cloud's core. Surrounding these nascent stars, Webb images gas filaments resembling swirling eddies or atmospheric currents. Astronomers believe the ambient cloud material retains signatures of the violent rotational motions from its initial gravitational collapse. Over long periods, feedback from luminous stars will either disperse or further sculpt these swirling patterns, influencing future generations of starbirth within NGC 346. Comparing observations taken years apart shows the changes that occur swiftly on human timescales but slowly from the perspective of young stars. Several objects visible as point sources to Chandra are now faint and obscured by fresh bursts of dust illuminated by Webb. Meanwhile, other regions have cleared entirely as stellar winds blow cloud material outward, gradually revealing new stellar inhabitants. By piecing together data across the electromagnetic spectrum and over decades, astronomers are constructing time-lapsed views of NGC 346's dynamic evolution. Further observations may reveal if clusters like this follow predictable star-forming cycles, or if stochastic events like supernovae also sculpt their development in this vibrant stellar nursery. Image number six. Unraveling the mysteries of Messier, 74 astronomers have set their sights on the Grand Spiral Galaxy, Messier 74, located around 32 million light years from Earth. By merging observations from the Chandra X-ray Observatory, James Webb Space Telescope, and other instruments, researchers have constructed spectacular composite images, revealing new layers of activity within this distant island universe. Messier 74 resides in the constellation Pisces, its luminous spiral arms twining across over 100,000 light years. Chandra's high energy X ray vision maps extremely hot gas, detecting over 150 towering regions erupting with radiant stellar explosions and supernovae. Meanwhile, Webb peers through the galaxy's swirling dust lanes, illuminating bustling star forming nurseries where giants of the next generation are just taking shape. What more can these combined images disclose about M74's evolution? Chandra spots where aging stars are seeding the galaxy with elements through spectacular final fireworks. Web images disclose patches of dense gas contracting under their own weight, likely to soon birth swarms of new stars. The voracious black hole at the galaxy's heart also emerges, its influence detected by unusual X-ray flares. By observing M74 across the full breadth of the electromagnetic spectrum, astronomers gain a multi-dimensional perspective that no single telescope could provide. Questions suddenly come into clearer focus. How do darkened dust lanes influence star formation across the spiral arms? What triggers periodic bursts from the central black hole? With further coordinated studies, the full story of how galaxies dynamically evolve may gradually come to light. Deeper analysis of Messier 74's composite images has uncovered intriguing activity throughout its spiral arms. Chandra X-rays reveal over 150 mushroom-like supernova remnants billowing outward from stellar explosions, enriching the galaxy with elements like silicon, carbon, and iron recycled from older star generations. Webb's infrared gaze spots swaths of luminous young clusters peppering M74's central region still buried within dense stellar nurseries. Comparison with previous Hubble images shows these clusters steadily spreading across the galaxy's core over decades. Energetic winds from massive stars are thought to be sculpting gaseous tendrils and slowly dispersing the clouds that birthed them. Within M74's signature barred structure, long filaments of dust filigree across its center in Webb's view. Astronomers believe gravitational interactions between gas, stars, and a supermassive black hole are responsible for distorting M74's bar over millions of years. Spiral density waves propagating from the bar may also have triggered fresh episodes of star formation visible along the outer arms. By piecing together clues seen across the light spectrum, astronomers are constructing a dynamic timeline of M74's evolution over cosmic history. 
Further multi-wavelength observations in the decades to come may reveal how external interactions with neighboring galaxies and the intracluster environment also influence dramatic changes within this iconic island universe's spiral landscape. Image number seven, unraveling galactic evolution across cosmic time. The James Webb Space Telescope has trained its mirrors on the famous Hubble Ultra Deep Field, capturing galaxies over 13.4 billion light years away in a fraction of Hubble's observation time. This tiny patch of sky contains an estimated 10,000 galaxies, offering an unparalleled window back in time. Located in the constellation Fornax, the Hubble Ultra Deep Field encompasses an area less than the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. Yet within this sliver of cosmos, Webb has observed some of the most distant galaxies to date, over 13 billion light years away from Earth and glimpsing back to within just 500 million years after the Big Bang. What insights might Webb's data provide about early galaxy formation? Its infrared instruments can penetrate obscuring dust clouds within primitive young galaxies, revealing regions where the first massive stars are coalescing. By identifying proto-galaxies in various evolutionary stages across such immense timescales, astronomers hope to reconstruct how properties like morphology, size, and star content have transformed since the early universe. When combined with over 20 years' worth of optical, infrared, and X-ray data on these galaxies from both space and ground-based instruments, Webb's high-resolution views stitch together a more cohesive picture. Questions around the ignition of star formation, heavy element production through stellar deaths, and the processes sculpting galaxy mergers across cosmic timelines can now be addressed like never before. With continued coordinated observing, Astronomers may gradually solve outstanding mysteries regarding how the numerous majestic galaxies populating today's universe first emerged from the darkness of the early cosmos. Webb's observations have uncovered exquisite details within Hubble's ultra-deep field galaxies that were previously unseen. Young star clusters are visible embedded within dusty stellar nurseries, their short vigorous lives already sculpting surrounding gas through stellar winds and radiation pressure. Proto-galactic structures are also emerging, massive clumps of dense star-forming molecular gas steadily coalescing under gravity over eons. Astronomers hypothesize that within these over-dense regions, runaway collisions will birth some of the earliest supermassive black holes, which then seed growth of the largest structures observable today. By comparing positions and morphologies of galaxies across observations spanning decades, subtle changes become apparent. Some objects have evolved elliptical shapes, while others appear in the midst of dramatic mergers, unleashing bursts of new star birth visible to Webb through its infrared eyes. Careful analysis of spectra extracted from Webb's spectra has also uncovered signatures of heavy elements even in the most distant galaxies, evidence of previous generations of stars already evolving and dying by this early epoch. Further spectroscopic studies may reveal when the first heavy element production became widespread throughout the universe. Through its panoramic views of the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, the James Webb Space Telescope is helping astronomers assemble the first coherent picture of galaxy assembly from their earliest embryonic beginnings to the majestic spiral structures ubiquitous across today's cosmic landscape. Image number eight, Webb reveals mysteries of the icy giant Uranus. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured its first image of the distant planet Uranus, located approximately 2.9 billion kilometers or 19 light hours from Earth in the outer reaches of our solar system. At this distance, Webb was able to observe fine details with unprecedented clarity, such as thin wispy clouds swirling within Uranus's azure atmosphere and the system of dark and bright rings encircling its equator. Uranus bears a unique axial tilt of nearly 90 degrees compared to other planets. 
This leads to its poles experiencing extreme seasons, with one pole facing the sun for over 20 Earth years before flipping to darkness for the same duration as it orbits our star. When the Voyager 2 probe flew by Uranus in 1986, its southern pole was in summertime, but now, over three decades later, Webb's image shows the south pole oriented away in wintertime gloom. Despite this, astronomers were surprised to spot a subtle bright spot at the center of the south polar cap, visible even in darkness. What properties allow this feature to glow while the surrounding cap is obscured? Future observations may help determine the polar cap composition and seasonal cloud behavior. Webb has also resolved 11 of Uranus's 13 known rings in just 12 minutes of viewing, revealing new details about this enigmatic planet's diverse ring architecture. With its powerful instruments, the James Webb Space Telescope is poised to unravel lingering mysteries about Uranus and help scientists better understand planetary formation and evolution across our vast cosmic neighborhood. Webb's detailed images provide unprecedented views of atmospheric banding and cloud features swirling atop Uranus's predominantly icy mantle. Delicate wisps and patches in pale blues and aquamarines decorate the gaseous giant, borne by winds often exceeding 300 miles per hour. Infrared observations also uncover clues to Uranus's internal heat source, which drives convective motions within the hydrogen-helium atmosphere, overlying an interior likely dominated by dense ice of water, ammonia, and methane. Variations in observed cloud structures at different wavelengths may correlate with depth and atmospheric temperature profiles yet to be fully modeled. Of particular interest are the dynamics influencing Uranus's enigmatic ring system. Webb clearly distinguishes between narrow bright ringlets and diffuse dark rings, some just tens of kilometers wide. Their misaligned and warped configurations suggest a complex orbital evolution impacted by gravitational encounters with Uranus's 27 known moons. By monitoring atmospheric characteristics and ring changes over seasonal, short-term, and long-term timescales, scientists may gain new insights into weather patterns, internal structure, and primitive ring particle composition on this far-flung ice giant. Coordinated multi-wavelength observations using Webb and other observatories promise new discoveries on Uranus to deepen humanity's understanding of planetary science. Number nine, exploring the mysteries of Crux, the Southern Cross. Set against a backdrop of the Milky Way, the small but recognizable constellation, Crux shines brightly in night skies visible from the Southern Hemisphere. Also known as the Southern Cross, this asterism has long held cultural significance for those dwelling in regions below the equator. Crux resides in our galaxy's disk, positioned approximately 800 light-years from Earth. It contains four prominent blue-white stars that together form a cross shape less than five degrees in width. The brightest of these, Alpha Crucis or Acrux, is actually a binary star system whose two components are divisible even with modest amateur telescopes. Nearby Beta and Gamma Crucis are also multiple star systems, as is Delta Crucis located at the bottom of the iconic asterism. What more can we learn about this captivating assembly of stellar jewels? Careful study of Crux star's spectral patterns may uncover clues to their internal compositions, ages, and evolutions. Monitoring their motions against more distant backgrounds likewise provides insight into the collective mass and structure of our Milky Way. Do interactions between these close-orbiting members of multiple star systems influence outcomes like supernovae, which seed heavier elements throughout galactic nurseries? Continued observations over long timescales may reveal changes unfolding among Crux's luminous inhabitants, deepening scientific understanding of stellar populations within our galaxy's far-flung spiral arms. Perhaps future instruments will discern previously unknown complexities lurking within this small but famous southern constellation, forever etched into the myths and cultures of peoples under the southern skies. Image number 10, 
new stars being born in Rho Ophiuchi. Nestled within the sprawling constellation of Ophiuchus, the Rho Ophiuchi Nebula glows brightly 400 light years from Earth. Visible only through infrared telescopes, this vast cloud of gas and dust harbors a bustling nursery where new stars are forming before our very eyes. Spanning over 50 light years, the Roofuchi Nebula contains over 200 dark clouds that appear silhouetted against its vibrant, diffuse glow. Infrared observations reveal these molecular clouds are dense with elements like hydrogen, which fertile stellar wombs concentrate under gravity's pull. Within some clouds, Protostars have already emerged, growing more massive by siphoning material from disks encircling their middles. It remains a mystery what triggers some clouds to give birth, while others remain dormant. Does a nearby supernova ignition or compression waves propagating through the nebula kickstart gravitational collapse? Monitoring the region over centuries may reveal which environmental factors influence stellar evolution at its earliest stages. Astronomers theorize that a future generation of stars will emerge wholesale from Rho Ophiuchi, dispersed throughout the Ophiuchus constellation. Perhaps some will resemble our own life-giving sun. By deciphering the nurturing process within this stellar nursery, scientists hope to glimpse how starbirth has sculpted our own Milky Way across cosmic history. New stars illuminate both night skies and humanity's understanding of the cosmos. Within the nebula's dark clouds, Infrared telescopes detect infant protostars cocooned in thick veils of dust and gas. Some objects, like the Roofuchia protostar, has grown massive enough to sport disks of swirling material in hydrostatic equilibrium. Here, emerging planets may already be accreting. Interspersed amid the clouds are vibrant emission-lit globules prominently sculpted by radiation and winds from the O-type star Antares. Multi-wavelength analysis of these structures probes how energetic feedback interacts with dense cloud structures. Some globules shield small protostellar embryos, while others are evaporating under intense stellar blasts. Newly formed stars within the nebula showcase a diversity of traits. Some T Tauri variables exhibit gigantic stellar flares, while brown dwarfs too small for full hydrogen fusion also emerged from the clouds. Studying this menagerie of young stars in varied evolutionary states provides clues to mass-dependent formation pathways. With its penetrating infrared vision, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue unraveling mysteries within this bustling stellar baby yard. Comparisons to past observations may also disclose how environmental dynamics like cloud-cloud collisions influence the episodic pace of starbirth across Rho Ophiuchi's turbulent stellar nursery. Image number 11, Webb unveils a cradle of stars in Orion, over 1,350 light years distant, within the sword of the mighty hunter Orion, glows one of the sky's most magnificent stellar nurseries, the Orion Nebula. Illuminated by the hot young stars of the trapezium cluster, wispy tendrils of dust and glowing hydrocarbon clouds have been sculpted into haunting silhouettes against the nebula's lush glow. Webb's new long-wavelength mosaic, stitched from hundreds of NERCAM images, grants an unprecedented view of this stellar cradle. Delicate threads of dust winding through the nebula are charted, their organic compounds limning photodissociation regions along the frontiers between starlight and darkness. Embedded within clouds of dense molecular hydrogen linger protostars in various stages of formation, some shrouded in thick veils while others sport swirling disks of distant worlds in the making. What more secrets lie within the nebula's nooks and crannies? Does energetic radiation from the trapezium's O and B-type giants influence nearby starbirth? Are the possible planetary systems detected around young stellar objects viable habitats, or was planets stripped away by powerful outflows? Future observations using Webb's suite of instruments may help piece together a more detailed timeline of stellar evolution in this iconic stellar nursery 1,350 years ago and long before. With each new glimpse, astronomy approaches addressing age-old questions about the processes that have shaped our very existence among the stars. 
Within the Orion Nebula, Webb's high resolution reveals intricate structural details down to scales of only a few astronomical units. Delicate jets of ionized gas are seen catapulting from young stellar objects as they interact with disks and the surrounding material. The brightness and morphology of these outflows may indicate varied accretion rates onto the protostars over time. Studying such dynamics provides clues to the episodic nature of star and planet formation. Embedded in the nebula are lower mass brown dwarfs, still warm from the heat of their formation, but lacking nuclear fusion. Their distribution and properties offer insights into the substellar mass spectrum that emerges from the stellar nursery. By capturing spectra across the nebula, Webb can probe how radiation and shocks generated by the trapezium stars ionize the gas clouds, influencing chemistry, temperatures, and pressures. This radiative feedback may help regulate the star formation efficiency across Orion's dense, opaque clouds. Over repeated observations, any proper motions of nebular features or variable stars will also reveal 3D motions and structures within the vast complex. Combined with archival data, this traces conditions in the nebula 1,350 years ago when the trapezium stars were very young. Their evolving interplay shapes new generations of stars born here today. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Orion Nebula and Webb's discoveries. Like and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos as we explore more cosmic objects with Webb. Each new image brings us closer to understanding our place among the stars. My question is, what would you like Webb to observe next? Let me know in the comments. The nebula, galaxy, or exoplanet interests you most. Thanks for joining me on this voyage.